second stall for the Craven Stakes. And just waiting for the handlers just to come away. The blindfold being thrown over the back. And they're under starters' orders, and they're off. As they break out, Blazer Tara, just about the early leader, but now immediately being cotted by Greville Starkey on Leo Fan. So Leo Fan now settles down the, in the lead, being followed by Blazer Tara, Rainbow Quest. Then comes Talios, the back marker in the early stages, Willie Carson on Cherry Hill. They run about a furlong and a half. Leo Fan blazing the trail ahead of Rainbow Quest. Then comes Blazer Tara, Talios. And then comes Cherry Hill with six furlongs still to go. That ought to be maintained. Gravel Starkey quite content to sit in front with Leo Fan being followed then by Rainbow Quest, Steve Corson. Then comes Blazer Tara and still bringing up the rear. The last of the quintet at this stage is Cherry Hill. They're running now just inside the final five. And as they do so, Leo Fan the leader from Rainbow Quest. Those two then being followed by Telios. Then comes Blazer Tara and the back marker still remains Cherry Hill with that order back to Graham. And both the first two running very freely early on. Leo Fan, the leader from Rainbow Quest, who almost got away with Steve Cawthon. Very, very free indeed in the early stages. Telios comes through to be third. Blaze of Tara, Declan Gillespie asking that one to quicken and can find nothing. They're coming past the bushes, race down into the dip, two and a half furlongs to go. And Leo Fan, look at his stride, but look to at Rainbow Quest. Don't forget a difference in weight here today. Leo Fan next to the rails. Rainbow Quest on the outside. The rest seemingly beaten. Telios is held. Cherry Hill is held. And it's going to be a battle Royal now with a furlong to go. Leah Fan and Rainbow Quest. Leah Fan next to the rail, sticking his neck out. Rainbow Quest on the stand side, asking to quicken. Very little to choose between the two. Leah Fan and Rainbow Quest really stretching both of them. Magnificent horses. Leah Fan just in a photo from Rainbow Quest. These well clear from Telios and Cherry Hill. And then came Blaze of Tara. What a marvellous, marvellous race. It's a win for number one. Leah Fan maintaining his unbeaten record. Owned by Mr. A. Salmon, trained at Pulborough by Guy Harwood and uh, bred by C.P. Carpedis, uh, ridden by Greville Starkey. I'm preempting the result. Officially, it's a photograph. But for me, second was number five, Rainbow Quest, owned by Mr. Khalid Abdullah, trained at Marlborough by Jeremy Tree, bred by Alan Claw and ridden by Steve Cawthon. For me, the third horse home was number six, Telios. But if, uh, in fact, for me, it was Daylight that was third. These two magnificent racing machines who both ran freely early on were both asked to quicken in Inside the final furlong and a tremendous roar went up from the crowds here as each battled each gave his all who uh, won the French two-year